I think better. I think uh, I don't think we gave up that much. Maybe in the third couple, couple there. But uh, I think Kemp's made some key saves at the key times and and uh, kept us the three four goal leads all the time. So so. Uh, but yeah, I think we can still do some things better. You know, just be more tighter in the D zone and not give up uh, any 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 chances. Like kind of like we did in Montreal. That was that was uh, probably best game defensively. Yeah, we're we're playing good. Like like uh, guys from bottom lines are stepping up uh, a big time. Like OC is playing playing really well. I like everybody's everybody sees, and uh, I think every all all the players, the D the D is involved in the offense. That's that's a big part of our our offense. I think our our D can can skate and make plays and uh, we can have a lot of zone time in the ozone so that's uh it's one of our strengths yeah, kind of, he broke up the top line and stuck there down there. what did you think of playing with Val? Well, I liked it a lot I think they're they're both great players big bodies they can protect the puck and and both have a good hockey sense they they move it move it always when you need to and hold on to it when you when you need to do that so so it's easy to play with they're easy Easy to read, and uh, and both are playing really good with uh, good uh, good confidence too. So so I'm I'm I was happy with the game we had tonight. Five games, three wins, and Yeah, it was you know about five hundred on a five game road trip and pretty some tough buildings to play in. So uh, I think we we found a way uh, a little. Maybe some like Toronto was wasn't our best, but but uh, we we still battled back. We got over over the losses quick, and uh, and uh, that's what what we need to do. You guys didn't seem to find another gear starting in the second period. You guys changed it. You got what you were doing in the first and second. Or just kind of a... Yeah, just keep with it. I think we're we were shooting a lot in the, in the first, so we just stayed with that, and and probably had a little bit more zone time in the second, and and uh, that's that's what kept us going and uh, we, we got the two points but yeah I think second was our best period for sure. What did you think of the first <laughs> Pretty sick actually I didn't see it happening I was doing something I don't know on the bench and then I just heard guys reaction and then I saw the replay and I was what my mouth was wide open so <laughs> that was my reaction. Um, I saw at one point during, like, uh, during the gameplay you had like I think mostly power play. Yeah, five on five. It's it's. Uh, I don't watch that much during the game, but power play. I like to see kind of what they're, because obviously you you see when you play, but also I think it's when you see a replay and sh see all the nine guys on the ice and who's where. So that's. Uh, I think I just like to do that and maybe find something we can do with the next power play. All right. Thanks, Nico. Thank you. That would be right up there, obviously, based on the fact that it's in the NHL, for sure. That's uh, that's one that I'll remember. Those two goals in 22 seconds, we'll see. Obviously, they were important plays. Kept things really pumping. And in a third, right? Definitely. You know, um, I think our offense was clicking there. I mean, it's clicked here in the past. Um, the past couple of games, obviously, and our team defense hasn't quite been there, but it was nice to have that second period burst that we had um, going into the third. I think, you know, that definitely puts them down a couple notches and changes, shifts the energy in the building and on uh, their bench and ours. You mentioned the defense hasn't been in the game. How do you feel about it? It was definitely better. Um, I think the biggest thing has been just like reloading above pucks, tracking back above their outlets. That's been a big, uh, you know, cause of concern for us lately, and especially with you know the offensive power that that team has over there. I definitely think we locked that down better. And then when we weren't there, you know, Kemp's bailed us out big time. I mean, uh, you know, that two on zero on the uh, power play was you know a huge save at that that time in the game. So um, definitely is is coming. Um, we still obviously have a lot of room for improvement in regard to our team defensive uh, details, for sure. Darcy, was that another equipment malfunction there in the period? I think that's three on the year. Yeah, this one was uh, not the skate, though, so that's a, a good sign. Uh, 
Yeah, my my toe lace. I, I'd have to watch if it got stepped on or something, but uh, it got cut somehow. Um, I've been wearing that my whole life, and that that hasn't happened before. So this was a first, but uh, kind of the way it's been going. Um, but it, it was a quick fix. I was good. How did you feel in general getting back this year after? Yeah, I just I knew I uh, you know missing a few games. You just want to come in and, and uh, you b build your game as you go along. And, I felt uh, more and more comfortable as the game went along, and uh, that's that was my goal. And obviously, uh, when the guys score seven, that that helps a lot. And, and you just gotta go out there and make some saves. What did you see on that? Uh, I was just trying to stay patient, uh, um, kind of reading, reading, anticipating the pass. Obviously, with with two guys, uh, not many guys are going to come down and shoot at it. And um, I was just able to make a push and make a save. Uh, I don't know if I ever have, so it's kind of been just bad luck lately, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I think we got it. We got it all sorted out now. I, I, yeah, I was just thinking, hopefully we can fix it quick and I don't have to leave the game, but, uh, had to go out for one whistle, but, um, uh, JC got a fix really quick and I was able to come back right away. Yeah, he, he's, you know, he's ready to go when he, he comes in. It's not an easy spot. Uh, whenever you come into a game, uh, sitting on the bench, especially tonight in the third period, you've been sitting for a while. You know, he just kind of hops in there and, and gets to work and, and plays well. Uh, credit to him for that. We'll see general thoughts on the five-game trip, obviously. Next. <laughs> Definitely. I think we started off, obviously, uh, slow in Toronto there. Um, sort of kicked us in the butt a little bit. Um, we got back to our team identity. I think that was the biggest thing going forward on the road. You definitely have to have all lines going, all deep pairings, goalies going type thing. Um, and I think a lot of the guys, you know, our whole team was pulling on the same rope at, you know, most points throughout this trip. Obviously, the Toronto game, we had our lapses. But besides that, you know, I think there's a lot of positives to take from it. Like mentioned before, you know, the team defense side of it, um, our offensive side of it, we definitely have been putting the puck in the net a lot recently, which at the start of the year, you know, wasn't quite happening for us. Um, and then I think our special teams, um, you know, still has some work to do. Power play has been great lately, but penalty kill, we got to, you know, shut the door a little more. But all in all, you know, great road trip, like you mentioned, 3-1-1 one, one is uh, pretty good for a long stretch there. Well, your your shorthanded play at all levels, college, where possibly now it's just your trade play in the NHL. What did they do different that makes so much offense? I think uh, my speed definitely, you know, plays a factor in all that. Um, I use a really long stick too, which, you know, breaking up plays can be, uh, you know, a lot easier on the penalty kill and just try and take advantage of teams power plays, maybe sleeping a little bit. They're not anticipating that and you can sort of jump on them a little bit, especially, you know, like I mentioned with that speed and that long stick uh, play a factor. So hopefully we can continue to uh, roll it over here. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks yeah, I mean, I liked some of the things we did offensively tonight. We were shooting the puck again. You know, we're starting to shoot it more when we get into some of those scoring areas and the power play looked good again. Um, had them tired a few times and probably forced some passes there. We could have been a little bit more patient with it, but for the most part, I, I liked what we were doing on the offensive side of things. Pretty good, pretty good working through the neutral zone too. Yeah, I didn't mind it tonight. I thought we came up with better intent and better conscience for our team, um, especially for the first half of the game. You know, sometimes once you get that lead, it, it deteriorates a little bit. We're trying to keep stressing it on the bench where players and coaches and but it's just, you know, got away from us a couple of times tonight. But Darcy, Darcy got better as the game went on, uh, made some big saves for us. Especially in the first on that one on the power play where we turned a couple pucks over, so I thought uh, for the most part it's pretty good team effort and for a two hundred foot game for us. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. I mean, we jumped on some pucks and and you know guys capitalized on their chances. Guys were shooting it well tonight. OC gets a couple breaks, makes a nice move on the one, shoots it on the breakaway, doesn't overcomplicate it. Um, did a good job getting around the net and getting some tips and deflections. I thought it was a great I thought it was a great period from our guys. Lower body, I don't I don't know though. Yeah. 
you know, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Well, uh, yeah, I haven't looked at it from a bunch of angles yet. I just saw it live and watched on the bench. Haven't seen it since. Uh, Nate was fine. Um, I think the spotters pulled him out and and because he went down, but he was fine to continue. I, I couldn't tell for for certain if he was head first or I mean he stepped right into the middle of him. I don't know if he got shoulder in the chest and then head or head first but um either way i mean it's a you know i guess come coming i like the the fact that he brings it into the middle ice there probably has an option with d2 or to step and shoot and he kind of lost it in his feet and then he got hit so it's going to happen but i didn't think it was malicious or anything i just don't know what part of the body hit first the water generates so much for other people he was fantastic yeah he was fantastic. Good on the penalty kill, five on five. That's one of the best games I've seen him play. And, yeah, I mean, because sometimes he'll get those chances and not capitalize on them, but he's been doing a nice job of making sure that either himself or his line mates capitalize with some great execution. What do you think yeah, I think he got I think he got better as the game went on. You know, so, so probably Rocky start, hasn't had a lot of practice, hasn't seen a lot of game action even in – and, and game speed stuff, five on five stuff, it, even in practice, he's just been taking some, you know, shots with uh, minimal guys on the ice. I think we had seven the one day, then he went out for a pregame skate and, and that's, we're not, not doing any five on five drills in that. He gets a little bit of power play work that way or penalty kill work, but um you know, I wasn't, I probably wasn't expecting him to be perfect and he wasn't early, but I thought that, um you know, end of the first, end of the second, great period. Even in the third, I thought he did a nice job. So to me, he got better as it went on, and hopefully now he'll 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 be tuned up for Friday. I just curious if Dermot didn't play Yeah, two helpers. Yeah. Do you feel like that there's any still a deterrent that you guys still need, especially in a game like this at this line? Well, I liked what he did. I mean, he's not making any mistakes out there. Like at forward, I've liked him at forward. We used him at D the other day because we were short some guys. I, I, I mean, I like what he's doing. I like his energy in the room on the bench. He's going to stick up for guys, um, make some plays tonight, gets a couple assists. He's involved with Troub after the Landeskog fight, and. Um, you know, he occupies him there. So OC gets another breakaway on it. I mean, I thought he did a great job. Yeah, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know where his ceiling is going to be. I, I, you know, every year this guy, this kid comes in and he just keeps impressing and improving and, um, I would say that the finish in his game was missing to be a, a true top six, but now he seems to be finding it or he's on a hot streak here. He's executing, like I said, at high speed. And I mean, he's hard to play against because he's all over the puck. He's relentless on the puck and, and his habits and details are good in the structure of our game. Um, I mean, he's an easy guy to cheer for. And then if he keeps finishing like that, then certainly I would say yes. Well, maybe you want to switch up the top one. Well, I mean, I was just been watching what they're getting and what they're giving up, not just the top line, but the second line, even the third line. And um, it's been too neutral for me. Um, dangerous some nights, but then also not great defensively, you know, and that's throughout our lineup. And um, Kadri and, and, and Rantanen had some chemistry when Mac was out and, and that was a really dangerous line when it had Landy on it. So I tried to put him into pairs tonight with some hard workers on there. So OC went with Landy and Mac and um, Miko was with Kadri and, and Val. Um, so you've got some hard skating, hard checking guys and enough talent to get, get the job done. They're a deep team. Um, and then Berkey with Newhook. I feel like Newhook's, you know, starting to catch, hit his stride and catch fire a little bit from a scoring aspect and making plays. So those guys on there with Helm and I just tried to, you know, 
see how it would go. And I, I liked it a lot. We were better defensively. We we're dangerous offensively on all three of those lines. So we'll see. We'll reevaluate and get ready for Friday. A few more, please. It's just to gain flexibility with our lineup. Yeah, we'll see what the next few days bring. I don't know that he's going down or anything. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with waivers tomorrow. And But it gives us flexibility for now to see what we're going to do if Comfort comes back in the lineup and, um, you know, check on Frankie as well. Is the plan still for Comfort to come back in time? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Some, something happened to his pad. It's, I don't know if a strap broke off and they just couldn't rig it onto the ice. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's going to happen. can happen every once in a while. Seems to happen a lot for Kemp's right now, but hopefully we get through that. All right. Thanks. Yep.